Hello and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an additional drive to your cloud. Now, if you recall, uh, I've set to showed you how to set up the personal cloud here. Uh, this is the three terabyte drive, and I've showed you how to set these up. And they're per they're fairly simple, but what I'm going to do here is show you how you can add another device to this. Now, if you recall, uh, when I did the first video, and if you haven't seen it yet, uh, please go ahead and watch it. This shows you how to set these things up. It's fairly simple. Uh, you'll notice that when I showed the connectors, you'll see this USB connector. Now, this is a USB 3.0 connector. Uh, any 3.0 device can connect to it. However, this is also backward compatible. Uh, you could connect a USB 2.0 or a 1.1. Um, if you have an extra uh, external drive like this one, uh, this is a one terabyte MyBook. Uh, this is a USB drive. And what I'm going to do is show you how to hook these up. And it's fairly simple. Um, if you have files on this that you want to transfer over to your new cloud, uh, you can do that. Um, if you want to just share files that's on here to the network, then you can do that. It's up to you. Now, you can also use these to back up your cloud. But in order to do that, you have to make sure that the, the drive that you connect to the cloud is large enough to back it up. As I said, this right here is a three terabyte. So if I wanted to back this up, this also would have to be at least a three terabyte. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to hook these up and use them to where you can share and transfer files if you want. So to get started, what you'll do is, on the back of this, as you can see, it does have its own power. Uh, USB 3.0 devices uh, can run off to the hard drive. USB 2.0, which is this one, and the 1.1s have to have their own power supply. Now I go ahead and plug the power in. Now you'll hear it turn on, and then momentarily it will shut off. Now, the next thing you want to do is take the data cable or the USB cable and go ahead and plug one in to the USB drive. As you see here, I've got my data cable plugged in. Then you just take your USB. plug it into the drive and you'll notice that the drive will come on and it will be accessed and get the information on it. Now that it's plugged in, now I can show you how to access the drive. Okay, now once we have the drive connected, uh, it's ready to go and what we're going to do now is show you how to access the drive. First thing you'll do is go down here to the bottom and you can uh, access the drive by clicking on File Explorer. And then what you'll do is go over here uh, to Network. Now under Network you'll see all the devices that are still connected to the network. Uh, you'll see my laptop, my media center, and my office PC. And of course the NAS. Now this right here uh, we'll open the folder and show you everything that's being shared. Now, as you remember, this down here, uh, which is the other one, which is under storage, this is what you use to access the uh, cloud. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open it. Now, this will bring you to the control panel. And, of course, you're going to have to sign in. Now, once you come to the screen here, uh, this is the main control panel. Uh, this is what I showed you that you'll wind up once you access the drive's control panel. 
Remember this icon up here, uh, this is the USB icon that shows you the connected. Uh, if you click on it, it will show you the um, hard drive that's currently connected. Uh, this case is the Western Digital MyBook. Uh, this is the one terabyte drive. Uh, it also shows you how much uh, space is free. Uh, you can use these drives to back up your uh, cloud, but it has to be at least the size that the cloud is uh, capacity. Um, if you need to, uh, you can get information. Uh, this tells you about the device uh, and where it's connected. As you can see, it's connected to port 1. You also have a eject button and what this does is when you're finished using the drive you click this button and it will uh, go ahead write the data to the drive complete the data transfer whatever it's doing and then it can safely remove the drive this is just like the safely remove hardware in your windows uh, this assures that all the data that needs to be written has been written before you remove the drive. Now, once we can confirm that it is open, uh, you can also go under Shares. And remember where we show Public, the Smartware, Time Machine, and the Sync. Uh, you'll notice this now shows My Book 2. Uh, this is the secondary drive that I just plugged in. Now when you click on it, uh, you can make changes to it. Uh, if you want to uh, change the name, you can give it a description, uh, you can identify how it's being shared. Uh, if you have it on public, that means anyone can access it on your network. Uh, you have your media serving which I've mentioned earlier, that's where you can stream to TVs and other devices. Uh, this shows you how much space has been used on the drive. Uh, down here is the share access. This is how you can share information. Um, if you're using Mac computer, uh, you want to make sure that you turn the NFS access on. Uh, so if you're going to use a Mac computer that's going to access this drive, uh, you want to be sure that you do turn NFS on. Down here for user access, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, if it's public, then anyone that can has access to the cloud can use it. Now, once you uh, make your necessary changes, now we can go ahead and access the drive. Now, when you come back to here, you're going to see the network again. This time we are going to go up here and uh, to my uh, NAS drive and we're going to open it. Now as you can see uh, there was another uh, folder that was added. Uh, you've got the original public, smartware, the time machine and of course the WD sync. But now you'll see this has been added. So when you open it, this will show you everything that is on it. Now, once everything's on here, you can do one of two things. Uh, you can either uh, share this information uh, across the, uh, the network with your public uh, cloud, or you can go ahead and transfer the data to the cloud. You can access it just like you would anything else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the files from this folder to this folder. Then that way I can get everything off of that drive. Now any hard drive will work. Uh, as long as it's a USB drive, uh, it can be 3.0, it can be 2.0, and it can be 1.1. Uh, just be sure that you have the necessary adapter to connect to it. So once you're on here, uh, you can do everything you need. Uh, you can share, you can transfer, uh, it doesn't matter. And let me give you an example. 
Let me go into my music. And let's say I wanted to transfer copy it. Now I could go to public. I can right click and then choose paste. And what it will do is copy everything to the folder. So now If I go through here, now I've got a copy of it on here, and I can also have a copy of it on here. Now, the public here, of course, is on the cloud drive. And as you can see, now it's on the cloud for everyone to see. So if you just set up your cloud and you have your external hard drive that you want to add to the cloud, this is how you could do that. And as you can see, this is very, very simple. Well, this concludes uh, this video. I've shown you how to add a extra storage device to your network cloud or to your personal cloud. And this is all there is to it. I've shown you how simple this is. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. I will have some more videos up coming up uh, to show you other things that you can do. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.